Hey, Mitch Abrams here. Welcome back to the channel. It is lunchtime. I'm driving to lunch. Today's burger day. So we've been to uh, Five Guys. We've been to Shake Shack. This time going to a local spot. And this is not just any local spot. They're making their own buns. They're grinding their own meat. Two former fine dining chefs have opened this place. And it's been, been open for a number of years. And I wrote down a couple of their awards. These are just a couple of their awards, right? So uh, Yelp, number 15 out of the top 100 burger joints on Yelp, right? They've won best burger in the county many times, I think 12 times. They've won best burger in the state of Virginia a number of times. Um, TripAdvisor, top 10 burgers nationwide. So this is a real deal burger. I love burgers, as you could probably tell. So this is, uh, these guys aren't messing around. So we're going, gonna get the standard uh, bacon cheeseburger, fries, and uh, I'll take you with me. Uh, also, they have a huge menu. Uh, they'll do custom burgers. They've got different uh, homemade sauces and cheeses. They're making uh, uh, Paris burgers with brie and all kinds of interesting things. I almost was going to get the special for uh, this month, November, right? Thanksgiving. They got a Thanksgiving burger. That sounds killer, right? They've got this, ground, uh, making a ground turkey burger. They're putting stuffing and gravy and cranberries, all the whole thing. And that was really tempting. But for this, uh, this review, I'm going with my standard classic. Bacon cheeseburger, fries, may get a milkshake. I don't know. Um, they make great milkshakes. And... One of the great things about this place is they love animals, and I love animals. They, they uh, contribute a percentage of their profits to the local animal shelters. They've got, uh, they don't take tips um, at all for their staff, but they've got a, uh, a tip jar, and if you put a tip on the receipt, it goes to helping the animals and uh, dog rescue uh, associations. So I think that's really cool. And... Uh, Anytime you can do something like that, I think these, uh, you know, these folks are, are okay in my book. So anyway, we're going to have a good time. I'm going to have a good time. It's only about a 10-minute drive. Uh, nice day. We'll see you soon. Here comes the hand slam. Um, I've been here a number of times. Really good stuff. So I like to always show you the, uh, the cost of these things. So I got a, the bacon cheeseburger, uh, small fries, no drink. $18.62 after tax. The cheeseburger alone is 14 bucks. Fries are three bucks. So it's standard pricing these days, right? Um, I think it's great. Not too crowded in here, lunchtime. Um, I've been in here uh, when you've got the, uh, it's packed, the line out the door, and it's just nuts. So um, I'm looking forward to this. You know, I'm lucky to live close by. A place like this. I was thinking, where am I going to go? I want to uh, uh, do something interesting. And I think, wait, I've got one of the top rated burger joints in the, in the state and on the TripAdvisor top 10. Why would I not come here? This is a great place. So, hey, if you're ever in uh, the Virginia area, Northern Virginia, right outside of DC, uh, less than an hour outside DC, about 40 miles, melt in Leesburg, Virginia. Where do you see this burger? It's giant. And again, like I said, they're making their own buns. They're baking their own sourdough buns, grinding their own beef. Uh, it's going to be crazy. So wait, wait do you see this thing? I'll be right back. All right. Food just, uh, food just got here. Let me show you what we're dealing with here. Hold, hold that thought. All right. Look at that. This is crazy. These are the homemade sourdough buns. Fantastic. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, there's my hand. How am I going to do it for scale? Here, wait. Salt and pepper shaker. No, that's not working either. Anyway, it's a big burger. Bacon. They got their own um, type of Thousand Island dressing. Shoestring fries, which I like. And they salt them well. They season them well. And they put pepper on them. The burger patty is thick. This is a great burger. Um, this is just awesome looking. Okay. Let's eat. Fries are great. You dip it in their homemade Thousand Island dressing. It's killer. 
the burger is insane and they have a roll of paper towels here in case you need them which is awesome any burger that comes with a giant skewer in it instead of a little toothpick you know you're not messing around i'm going in so i hope you can appreciate the size of this guy this thing is is gigantic the bacon is nice freshly cooked I ordered a medium. Let's see what they did. Okay. Perfectly cooked. Wow. Hot. Bacon is smoky. It's crispy. Beef. Good beef taste. Wow. That is something else. Fries were killer. This is a giant burger. I did not eat breakfast today because I knew I was coming out for a big lunch. Thank God I didn't eat breakfast. I don't know what time it is. It's maybe like pushing 12, 30, 1 o'clock. I may not eat dinner. Look at this thing. You know what's really great about this, besides the flavor, everything works from a proportion size. Like, you've got a big homemade bun. It's light, but you've got a thick burger patty, so you don't have too much bread. The burger patty, the bun is holding up well. Sometimes homemade buns can be a little soft. It's holding up really great, and you've got the right amount of beef. And you got the right amount of toppings. So everything's in proportion. Sometimes you get a big bun and you get a thin patty. I'm not a big fan. All right? Then things are out of whack. Or you get way too much of one thing and not enough of another. It's balance, right? We need, we need, everything has got to work. My fries are cold. My sounds you hear in the back is milkshakes. I make regular milkshakes, plus they've got adult beverages going in there, adult milkshakes. So I can get a milkshake with beer, whatever. Sounds good. I thought I might get a milkshake, but I thought better of it. This thing's going to be plenty big, and I, could, I wouldn't be able to deal with the ice cream right now. But these fries are like crazy good. Man. These are like crack fries. You just eat these nonstop. I'm going to eat this whole thing. Okay, let's eat. Crowded now. All right. Tip. I'm done. Now I need a really long nap. And that's it. All right.
we'll wrap this up outside. Okay, back in the car. Crazy good. Amazing burger. Something about a burger. I, I said this before. It, the burger and fries, when you're really hungry, for me, it just hits right. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I can't recommend this place highly enough. If you're in the area, if, if even if you're in D.C., it's worth the drive. It's less than an hour, 45 minutes. You can get one of the top burgers around. Grinding their own meat, not frozen, baking their own sourdough buns, loading it with toppings. They've got bowls. You don't have to get a bun. They've got a huge menu, tons of variety. If you're going to eat it, eat something that's good quality. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.